Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Benny if you're new here. And today is a actually highly-ish requested video. It's a requested video. So I'm doing a freshman advice video and I am a incoming sophomore in high school. So I just got through my freshman year. And let's be honest, my freshman year was not that great, but I have like tons of things that I learned from it so definitely first thing that I just want to get out of the way you do not have to be nervous about your first year of high school it's really just another year of school and if you're like an eighth grader going into freshman year don't worry about it literally like it'll come to you and you're gonna learn so much and it's all gonna be okay it's all gonna be okay so definitely don't worry about it i definitely wasn't nervous on my first year for my first year of high school i just said it was going to be like another year of school like i literally i just like i went into it with just i was just excited i went i definitely was not nervous and look how things turned out for me there were definitely some things that i wish i would have done differently so that is basically just what i'm going to share with you guys okay first thing that i need to talk about is friends Friends are like the number one thing in high school that everyone just kind of struggles with, I'd say. So first of all, the friends that are with you in middle school aren't necessarily going to be with you in high school. And it's just the way of life. It'll happen. You're going to lose some friends. You're going to gain some new friends. And those new friends will bring new experiences, etc. So you don't have to be worried about losing friends. Trust me, like it'll they, they come and go. And overall, if it wasn't for you, it's not gonna... <laughs> overall, if that friendship just wasn't for you, it's just not gonna happen. And you should not be sad because you lost a friendship. The way that I see it is that people that God allows to be in my life I'm just going to allow that to happen and I'm going to continue to protect me, protect my peace and I'm okay with losing a couple friends, being alone for a while because, well, that's just how life works and at the end of the day, there's going to be some more, some people that you're going to meet and are just going to change your life. You know, they're going to like completely change your view on the world, but you're never going to meet those people if you don't let go of the old ones. So. I posted a poll on my Instagram and somebody said that not everyone's gonna like you and they're going to be fake people no matter what. And I totally understand this. Like, y'all, don't worry if other people like you. Seriously, like I've talked about this before, it does not matter. These are like a couple of 17 to 18 year olds. They don't matter in life. <laughs> like in your life, they don't have to hold any power over you and what you do and what, how you act so not everyone's gonna like you that's the truth i don't think a lot of people liked me last year either and that's just fine like this is literally just like the smallest little scope like maybe when you're in high school you think it's like just you're on the top of the world or you're on the bottom of the world if that's you but literally high school is just a little chunk of your life and yes these are like the transitional years of your life where you're gonna kind of figure yourself out but it's also just not where your life ends. How you start high school really does not define how you're gonna spend the rest of your four years. So definitely don't put so much pressure on yourself because that's just not the reality of it, sadly. Or not sadly, gratefully. Um, <laughs> that's just not the reality of it. So even you could be like at your peak in high school or at your peak in your freshman year and then by senior year, you just don't feel that way anymore so don't let the first year dictate how you're gonna spend like every other year of high school and yes there are fake people in high school like anybody can tell you that you can watch any netflix sitcom and there's gonna be some fake people there's gonna be some toxic friendships and you need to learn to first of all fish out the good friendships obviously you're gonna want to have some people that you can hang out with and that you can spend your time with definitely don't trust everyone that you meet because not everyone that you meet is going to have good intentions 
and certain people are going to seem some way maybe in the beginning but then completely change after and that is just another form of fake friends so if you're not feeling valued in a friendship and you feel like they're not bringing anything positive to you and they're kind of inclining this bad influence on you and your mood and your life and just the way they treat you definitely just don't be friends with them anymore trust me they don't care about you and they're not going to care if you're friends with them or not because they're obviously just not positively affecting your life that's where i'm going to leave that just be careful who you hang out with and don't be afraid to let go of certain people well because not everybody is worth your time and you don't have to be the caretaker of everyone else and it's okay for you to prioritize yourself sometimes as well second point is a very very important point that is gossiping first of all don't be that girl or boy that gossips and talks about other people literally nobody likes people like that trust me like you're you're the ugly one here you're the one that looks bad if you're out here talking about other people for no reason so i found that i just like to just remove myself from the situation if i see some people like gossiping about others i'm just like it's just not my thing i don't really find entertainment in it um and a lot of the times you might get yourself like sucked into drama you might feel like but you have full control over how you assess the situation and how you live your life so yes there's still gonna be crap following you everywhere it's like it's high school but how you take it and how you like maneuver around it that's completely up to you so you can stir the pot or you can choose to walk away from it there is going to be probably some rumors about you too and as long as you know who you are and know that you're a good person know whatever you did um depending on the situation right as long as you know and you're okay with yourself literally the opinions of other people don't matter it's high school and they're probably gonna forget about you either way in like a month or so so genuinely just don't let the gossip get to your head um there's gonna be people talking crap about you and saying things about you that are going to just harm you emotionally mentally a lot a lot of yeah <laughs> and honestly y'all whatever these people think just doesn't affect you just doesn't have to affect you and just know you're a girl boss or a boy boss and you slay every day <laughs> i don't really know how to encourage that but um all i'm here to say is that yes there's gonna be people there's gonna be people that talk about you and try to reflect their insecurities upon you you are know, just spread negativity around and low-key you don't need that negativity in your life right now literally nobody needs negativity High school is hard enough as it is without people talking crap so please don't be that person that talks crap okay if there's one thing that you're gonna walk away um with from this video is to be a kind person um kind people just attract the best so definitely if you want to find a good circle of friends and have the best time in high school just be kind to people and that energy will be attracted to you as well so you're gonna eventually just find people that benefit you people are gonna be influenced by you they're gonna be inspired by you and you're ultimately just gonna feel so good about yourself i don't know about you but when i see a girl that's like just in her own world and super positive and confident and you just like you see the positivity just radiating from her those are the kind of people that I'm attracted to. Those are the kind of people that I want to be around. And so if you want to be somebody that everybody looks up to, everybody just kind of likes thanks in some way, be kind, be positive, be supportive. Definitely don't bring anybody down in high school. Kind of influenced, I would say, to want to look a certain way or compare yourself to others. And there might be some times where you just like completely hate everyone but really it's just a rolling stone or something like a stepping stone something else that we really need to talk about <laughs> it's academics y'all i know it might not be everybody's like favorite topic 
but it is pretty important because it's school and at the end of the day you literally go there to learn and to I don't just learn literally <laughs> get good grades get to a good college and there's so much academic pressure put upon high school because it's like oh these are the grades that count and while that is true please don't let it get to your head for those of you who don't know i was in an early college program and i will continue to be in, in a bachelor program in my high school or whatever so last year i feel like that was part of the reason why my freshman year went really really bad because i just like had all these voices in my head and people telling me um what i could and could not do um um it was like all this academic pressure and it definitely did not make high school any easier to have like even me that i'm like just this perfectionist with my work and all that kind of stuff like with school in general I just like completely shut off last year and so while I do think that academics should be a really important thing in your career in your high school career and it should be a priority I don't think that you should let it eat you alive literally okay so a lot of you guys might be thinking like how do I even get good grades so i'm an almost straight a student i got to be an ap world history last year um and it was an 89 and can you believe it anyways i i'm not gonna talk about it but um, <laughs> i've always had good grades ever since i was in elementary school and so i kind of like figured out what works for me Something that I tell everybody is to make to-do lists or just simply to have something that you can look to to organize yourself because high school can get very hectic and overwhelming, especially with the schoolwork that they may give you. Like you're going to feel overwhelmed at some point, even if you don't think you might, you're going to feel overwhelmed. And so I make to-do lists just because it's the easiest and simplest and it's also very effective for me. I make to-do lists on paper i don't do it on like my notes app or whatever because that just does not work for me i need to see it physically and i need to write everything down because it just makes you feel it has a certain satisfaction to it to just be able to write stuff down and also just check them off i guess and i feel like everybody says that but it's so true i just like i have i love just writing writing is my thing so write a to-do list i go from every every course that i have that day so I'm like, okay, what did I do today in math? What did I do today in history? And that way I go down the list and I make sure that I have everything down that I need to do for that class. So everything that's coming up, like homework or anything I wanna get ahead of, I make them pretty much daily, I would say. Or like, even if I skip a few days and I come back to it when I'm like feeling extra overwhelmed with work, I just write it down and that just helps. It really does, it just helps because you can see on paper and a lot of the times for me I just like I feel just like an aquarium in my head and all these fishies are like swimming around and they're like crammed in there I don't know weird analogy <laughs> definitely weird analogy but if you understand you know like there's just so much stuff going on in your head and then when you put it on paper everything just seems a lot clearer and you'll realize that all the stuff that you were stressing about isn't even that much to worry about also, the way that I tackle my lists is I do the easy slash short stuff first because that way I can shorten the list and it makes it a little bit more manageable for my head to like wrap my head around the homework. That is definitely not like a cheat code to passing. Like you might not, that might not work for you, but that's just something that works for me. Also, um, great, great tip, please. Use your resources. There are probably going to be tons of resources for you in high school and even if there aren't there's always the internet if you really need something that will help you with your school with your school and coursework so go to youtube go to tutoring go to your teachers literally your teachers are there to work wait what <laughs> your teachers are there to help you with your work um they're there to answer your questions and they're going like they're literally like obligated to help you that's their job so if you ever feel worried or stressed out about a work go to your teachers like if you're curious about something if you're like completely lost send them an email or talk to them in person 
and it'll also show a lot of interest on your part so the teacher will be like oh okay so and so actually wants to be here um <laughs> i saw this video the other day actually a long time ago and it said like if you want to kind of be on your teacher's good side or whatever without being such a kiss yeah <laughs> And it basically just said to ask the teacher a question about the material that isn't like incredibly obvious like just go a little further and ask a question beyond the lesson that still has to do with it what I, oh my gosh I didn't even remember what I learned last year oh um, you're talking about cell cycles you can go to your teacher and ask them something about the cell cycle that wasn't necessarily mentioned in the lesson and then you're just going to be like, oh, cool. So, you know, there's going to be that engagement and there's going to be that interaction that just makes you more likable. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about is relationships. Boyfriends and girlfriends. So in high school, I feel like a lot of people are influenced or feel like they have to be in a relationship because everybody else around them is in a relationship and I'm speaking from personal experience <laughs> so um, definitely like especially towards the end of the year it feels like everybody like has someone going on in their life and you might feel like incredibly alone at the time but honestly like I just came to terms with myself and I was like girl you don't want to date anyone anyways just live your life go to school and keep it moving because you don't need a boyfriend right now um and i feel like that is important to just have your priorities straight and don't lower your standards for something because everybody else is doing it just go ahead and take your time because at the end of the day a relationship that isn't rushed is better than one that starts because you have fomo well and trust me you're gonna be influenced you're gonna feel so alone because you're gonna like walk through the halls and you're gonna see all these couples but literally like girl you do not have time to be wasting your time on someone that isn't worth it so definitely have standards in high school also boys in high school okay um i was raised to just think like boys have several hidden intentions and y'all know what i'm talking about if you don't then okay but <laughs> They have hidden intentions and there are going to be people who just break your heart. Break your heart, play with your feelings, and just don't take you seriously. Those people are not worth your time. And while I could sit here and be like, girl, just tell them bye or something. <laughs> like those things are going to hurt. And so I'm preparing y'all for the occasional or sporadic hurt of love and crushing on someone and being delusional. Watch who you're inviting into your life, romantically especially, because those are the people that hurt you the most. That's the, just the biggest thing, is to not rush a relationship. The quicker you get into the relationship, the quicker you get out of it also. So I say just don't go looking for a relationship and just let it happen if it's going to, and don't be discouraged and question your worth because you don't have a boyfriend or you don't have a partner because trust me like that's just like the least of your problems right now trust me like life alone or single is genuinely just better where you when you can like grow in yourself and you can heal also this kind of has nothing to do with high school in general but i mean it's just in a universal thing to know is that you are not like this eternal healing and self-improvement project I think it's important to know that so you don't always have to be just like on your guard and in your peace and all of that like it's good to be healed and have like that self-improvement in you but just know that it's okay to stumble and it's okay to do things that don't like benefit your mental health or whatever or I feel like this might be interpreted the wrong way but you know what I mean like just be okay where you are and not just come continuously just keep trying to improve and improve and improve sometimes it's okay to just be where you're at okay next is events and getting involved i feel like this is going to make your freshman year 
in any other year in high school is just to get involved in two things that you're interested in whether that be sports or pep rallies or i don't know like events that your school has in spirit weeks literally i always participate in my spirit weeks because i just find it so fun to do and it's just like it's so easy like get the cuesta sabes and so just do the fun things even if people think it's cringe like as long as you're having fun and you enjoy the things that you're doing um other people's opinions don't really matter this is what you're gonna remember from high school especially like you're not gonna remember i don't know like the test that you studied for for the two weeks you know you're gonna remember like the pep rallies you went to or the games you went to so i say definitely just go for it go for anything and everything that your school has to offer every school is different of course but just look for something that just interests you and go for it. Go to clubs and again, sports if you're into that. That's also where you meet the most people because they're gonna be people, they're going to be people that are interested in the same things as you and where you can like connect with them through that. So definitely don't be afraid to just go out there and do like half a million things your high school year, but be careful of burnout. And that is the next thing I want to talk about is just burnout, academic burnout. It is so common in high school and I feel like we don't talk, we don't talk about it enough. Um, so high school, yeah, especially towards the end of the year, you're going to feel like you have just so much stuff going on. And even in like the beginning of the year when you're just starting to like get used to it, you're going to be like, whoa, okay. And then you're going to start to pile on and you're just going to feel incredibly overwhelmed with school. I mean, there's not like a universal code to how to prevent burnout. Um, I wish I was more educated on it because it would totally help me out too. But definitely look into that. <laughs> Ways in this can happen is just having like unrealistic expectations for yourself um academically so um ways that i prevented burnout was just to take everything one step at a time and sometimes i would want to like i um i sometimes i had in my plans and it was like oh i'm going to have to study for this and i'm gonna like and i'm gonna write notes about it and then i don't end up doing that because i have other things to do like i don't beat myself up over it because i know that I prioritize my well-being <laughs> so please 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 prioritize your well-being above your academic goals please because at the end of the day these things aren't gonna matter as much as what's in here and what's in here and if you're just not feeling good and if you're not feeling okay then that's gonna reflect upon how you do academically I always make sure to just make sure that I get enough rest at night like I'll spend hours just studying and making notes and going over assignments and just a million things and then I'm like, oh, it's 10.30, off to bed. You know, like it's just acknowledging that there are more important things out there than school and you are one of them. Also, let's talk about grades for a second. Um, as a person who seeks academic validation all of the time, from everybody um i definitely understand the pressure that can be on you to maintain those good grades right so first of all how do you get good grades essentially i would just say do your work focus in class and do your work <laughs> that's literally like that's just the easiest way to keep your grades um where they should be i guess or where you want them to be and again this goes back to using your resources if you see that you're not doing good in your work and you're like wait but i'm focusing in class and i'm trying all that again and i i just don't see that in my results right use your resources go to your teachers and just figure out what's wrong and figure out what you don't understand um if you don't feel comfortable going to an adult or if you just don't learn this the if you don't learn really well through a screen right go to your friends they're always going to be there for you so definitely make a good circle of friends in each class that can help you with your work i feel like that um, benefits you a lot in high school also like hey what did you get for this answer hey like did you do the homework <laughs> stuff like that right that can help you boost your grades overall last but not least please please enjoy your freshman year y'all 
enjoy high school and enjoy every experience. Remember that freshman year is just a stepping stone and that it really is just the beginning of a very long slash short moment in your life. Like high school can go by so fast and you just have to make sure that you're enjoying it every day. And while it can be overbearing, it is totally worth it and you're gonna enjoy yourself and you're gonna find friends and you're just gonna have a blast. Even if you just, you know, hit a bump in the road like I did, <laughs> you're gonna get back to it. And as long as you keep a good mindset, just have a positive attitude and you're kind and you just put your best foot forward, good things are gonna come to you. So that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys took some of this advice for your benefit. Um, so yes, that is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe down below for more content like this and I will see you guys next time. Bye!